When I first began working this issue, the aim was to answer one big question. How much plastic trash is in the world's oceans and what's the impact? Uh, every time we did a plankton tow, we uh, picked up uh, little bits of plastic. And uh, finally we said, you know, this doesn't belong out here. I was studying seabirds in Alaska, but one of the things I was doing was looking at food habits of auklets, which are plankton feeding seabirds. 100% of the parakeet auklets had plastic in their stomach. I thought there was something very odd going on. We discovered plastic floating in an area of the ocean, now known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And what we found was six times as much plastic as the associated zooplankton floating on the surface. That woke up the plastic pollution conversation. The idea that we had more plastic than life in the area of the ocean far from land as you can get. Over the past four years, actually, we've been working on this, trying to figure out exactly how to model the time trend of ocean plastics. Everywhere from Shanghai to Ho Chi Minh City to Sydney to Los Angeles, Lima, Peru, trying to understand the size of the plume of plastic that's coming from land into the ocean. Our prediction was true. You know, there has been a big increase with time. We have enough data now to give a preliminary estimate of how much plastic is out there floating in the ocean, and it turns out it's quite a lot. Our recently published paper reveals that there are over 170 trillion pieces of plastic floating in the world's oceans. And we've seen a rapid increase since the turn of the century. The plastic on the sea surface is really just the tip of the iceberg they're still in a flood of new plastic and more plastic getting produced in the world today. Plastics is way more than just a waste problem. Plastics is a systemic problem. 99% of all plastics are coming from gas and oil. It's being found in groundwater now, it's being found in human bodies, being found at the, at the top of Mount Everest. This may be hard to hear, but we are all eating, breathing, and drinking plastic particles daily, and unfortunately, we don't know what this means for our health. We are outside the safe operating space for humanity. Am I hopeful we can solve this plastic crisis? And I have to say yes. The innovation I see and the, the, the brain trust coming from young scientists, young entrepreneurs, is, is really hopeful. Ultimately, it's a very solvable problem. The only thing is that we need to have the willingness of everyone. Everyone has a role to play in, this, in solving this problem. We need that uh, decision makers help us we need uh, companies to give us the possibility to choose. So this is an important issue that we all need to face together. It's time to stop this plastic smog from growing. We need to shift to a circular economy and end our toxic dependence on fossil fuels. We need to hold producers responsible for the entire life cycle of the stuff they make and usher in policy that levels the playing field so every company abides by the same new rules. We need to eliminate the production of single-use plastics. We need a global treaty on plastic pollution. 
we need to cap fossil fuel extraction and plastic production. We've got to do something about banning plastics at the source. The future of our planet depends on it, and the time is now.